What is going on guys, Joe here from Income Athletics and I just want to talk about something kind of segueing off the video I posted yesterday about why your metabolism is not the problem and talking about tracking your overall variables when it comes to weight loss, whether that's your weigh-ins daily, making sure those are accurate, whether that's tracking your calories to make sure that you're actually in a deficit to lose weight, whether that's progress pictures. All of these things have a huge role in your success and realistically they have the biggest role in making sure that you're even tracking your progress to know whether you're on the right track or need to make adjustments. So the big thing I want to stress with this though is a lot of times people I'll ask them I'm like are you tracking your calories right now and they're like yeah and that is a good step but it doesn't necessarily mean that you even know what amount of calories to be shooting for when to make adjustments to those calories how much of an adjustment to make and when you should really be stressed about the scale when those fluctuations on the scale matter the most and when you should actually just forget about it and keep on keeping on with what you're doing and not worry about those fluctuations there's so many variables at play um, progress pictures how to make sure you're actually taking consistent progress pictures making sure the lighting's consistent all these things really come into play when it comes to yes tracking your variables but then it, it really is about applying those variables to make adjustments accordingly to continue the success that you're already having or to start seeing success that you're not seeing right now so my whole point with this is it can be a good thing to start tracking it can be a good thing to start analyzing your weigh-ins it can be a good thing to start taking progress pictures but if you don't know actual quantifications you don't know what those numbers actually mean you don't understand what to do about those numbers or why you're even tracking those numbers or tracking those numbers in the right manner because a lot of times I'll ask people when they're weighing in and they're like oh I weigh in just whenever I can well it's like if you weigh in at the beginning of the day consistently it's going to be much more accurate much more specific of a depiction of your actual weigh in every day because you haven't eaten or drink anything if you do it first thing in the morning versus at lunch right or heaven forbid at the end of the day when you've eaten food all day you've drank water all day whatever else you drank coffee everything else you've ingested throughout the day you've sweat at the gym all those things factor into your weigh-in so if you expect to get consistent weigh-ins at the end of the day good luck so all those things considered, guys, you have to understand how to apply the numbers that you're tracking. And that's where having a coach, having a specific plan, and actually analyzing things in a strategic manner are so important. So anyways, hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully this gives you guys some insight. If you guys have questions, as always, shoot me a message. I'm going to be getting back to all my DMs today. I've been slacking on that, to be quite honest with you guys. So I'm going to be getting back to everyone's DMs today. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know. If you guys want to see any other topics, let me know as well. And I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Have a good day. Talk to you later.